happy 2021, everyone. And we have a special guest with us today that's going to talk to us about interest rates, mortgages, everything that has to do with trying to buy a home in 2021. So I'm going to introduce to you Jack Schottbolt with Schottbolt Mortgage. Hi, everybody. Happy 2021. Um, rates are great. I mean, they still continue to be fantastic. So a lot of political noise has, you know, brought rates up and down and made them a little bit wobbly. One thing about the stock market and the bond market, they don't love unrest. They don't like not knowing what's happening. But the reality is it looks like we're going to tra transition into a new presidency. Um, how does that really affect interest rates? You know, we expect things to calm down a little bit. We had a choppy week over the first week of January, but we expect those things to calm down. We have a familiar face who's going to head up the Fed again for us in Janet Yellen. Janet Yellen did a fantastic job under Barack Obama. We don't expect her to be, you know, anti-low interest rate or not having, um, you know, monetary policy that benefits us. Um, so there's a lot of things that I think will play into our favor. So I expect rates to be low. When you look at forecasts from Fannie and Freddie, they both expect rates to remain low through 2022. So, you know, for the foreseeable future, we're going to have a good interest rate environment. Um, really nothing under other than, you know, um, acts of war and crazy things that always can happen can really affect that. But we expect, you know, more of the same, more of the same. All right. And I hear people talking about the bond market. For those of you who don't understand that, how does the bond market affect interest rates? So really the easiest way to describe that is, you know, bonds and stocks move in opposite directions. So when I'm talking to somebody on the phone, talking to a client, I say, okay, if you and I have a trillion dollars to move around in the market, if stocks are hot, we're gonna remain in stocks, but if stocks aren't doing so well, we're gonna retreat into bonds and treasuries that give us a guaranteed rate of return, although low. So that's kind of the basic way to look at it. If the stock market's having a really bad week, you click on the evening news, stocks are down, means rates are probably the beneficiary because bonds have then rallied. Bonds, mortgage-backed securities, treasuries, those are all forms of bonds that can be purchased. The thing about mortgage-backed securities is the government's actually participating in the purchase of those. That's what's allowing rates to be even lower than where they have been, even though maybe the yield on the yields and bonds that we have are the same. The government's participation in the purchase of those mortgage-backed securities is you know, bringing rates down even further. So again, I don't think that policy will change because again, being a familiar face in Janet Yellen, I don't expect that to be very different. And even, you know, you have a, a new democratic presidency and they're not gonna wanna see things be too different as far as affecting home ownership, you know, and a lot of other things that are important. They wanna make sure in their first year that they look good. So I, I just don't expect a lot of negative impact there. Yeah.